We've all seen bad photography on eBay. I know you have, I know I have. We've all seen pictures like this. Cool, you can't click on it. This picture is as big as it's ever gonna get and it looks like someone took it in a cupboard in their bathroom in the middle of the night with the lights off. Okay, maybe it's not that bad, but this one, please help this man because who would buy this coin? You can see nothing. That is the epitome of being overexposed. Like, turn your brightness down or turn the light off in your room. And then every once in a while, you get something really amazing and you end up seeing stuff like this. Good God. The saturation slider was heavy on this man's hand today because that is ridiculous. Looks like a kid got overzealous with a Crayola highlighter pack. Um, so let me exit out of these. And what I did to find out how to photograph my coins better. I just want to take cool pictures that are lit well. That's all I want to do. That ones that will show the detail of a coin and actually, because this guy's using a ring, which is kind of what I looked for, and I even looked at this link. But the link that I actually found was actually on the first page. It's right here under videos. It's actually the third one here. These are very helpful too. I watched both of these, but this one is the one that I found. And I had never heard of what this was as we passed the ad. Uh, but it's called Axial Lighting. And essentially this guy explains that he built this box where a light is coming in from the side here and you take a picture down through the glass while your coin is sitting underneath here. So he's going to take his camera and mount it up on top of here and shows that he's taking the picture down through the glass. So I essentially went ahead and built this item because I wanted to be able to see what this would look like. And there's another video where I actually I found the plans of how to build this. And I kind of uh, just made up my own as I went because I didn't really have the materials they had. They used aluminum. So I'm going to show you how I built that and how I went about doing that to make this axial lighting setup to get the best pictures that I've taken so far. So what we're trying to do is we're going to Take obviously this piece out. So this is a picture frame. It's got a piece of glass in it. See the glass? You know, there's glass in picture frames. So what the idea is, put it back on the slant just for a second. So I'm going to try and figure out how to do this. So what you're supposed to do is where my dad is sitting, a stream of light will come through. Um, and you have your camera up here. Well, whatever. It comes through the side and it goes through and passes basically through the glass and the coin will be sitting down here so when the light kind of refracts down it'll light up the coin while your camera will be up here taking a picture down through the glass so we're going to try to build one and it shouldn't be that hard i found a little plan on the internet but if we succeed then i'll take some pictures with it and see if i could post those online so all right we're going to try to figure this out uh in a miter box hand saw on it So there's a 45. Good to go. Now that's going to be one side of the leg going down. Alrighty. Okay. Uh oh, your grip's coming off. Hmm? We'll just use it as our mark. And there we go. And that's the width of our frame. So. Horses are janky. Yeah, it's just not working very well. I'll hold. That's better. Well, we want to have to get the table saw. Right. Watch those fingies. Yep. All right, so now we got our base. You got all these pencils to choose from, and you want to use that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we got a board. This is a mechanical pencil. Oh, okay. Two and one eighth inch, right? So we need an inch and a half plus a sixteenth. So it doesn't have to be exact. Yeah, you know, but so <laughs> inch and a half, so we'll give it we'll give it right here. Okay. 
<laughs> Maybe do it on a, so you don't drill into the table. Mm -hmm. Famous last words. <laughs> you gotta move it, it's stuck. <laughs> Oops. Oops, sorry mom. <laughs> we sorry mom, we ruined your table. <laughs> And they're level. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, good. That'll be fine. So guys, why do we put the screws in there? To stop the frame from moving when you put it in. Okay. Just like that. Cool, huh? So now we're just framing up. So we got these screws in now and everything's standing up. These screws will give it a little more stability. We kind of messed up the measurements because we didn't factor in for the height of this. But next time, we'll figure it out. One sixteenth inch drill bit and number four by three quarter inch Phillips head screws. A rooster tail going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, you feel like we need to have a uh, piece across here? No? Why? Look at that. Perfect. It'll work. So there you have it. Got a little dowel rod here so these arms don't bend out. And what you'll end up doing is taking and putting the coin under here. So then when you take a picture up here, it catches and makes this bright. So I'm going to take some pictures and see what happens. Alright, we gotta get a piece of the um... So, that's our little project. It only took us about an hour. So this is my camera. It is a Sony A6400. You can see right there the model number. Um, this is a pretty mid-tier uh, camera. It's, I'd say it was about $800 with the lens, maybe just under 1000 So not 980 for the lens, but 980 total. So. The way that I achieve the picture to get that close up, it is a macro photography. So what I'm doing is, I have it on the lens, there is a macro tube. So this is a 50 millimeter lens with a 16 millimeter macro tube. And this is just because I didn't feel like spending the money on a macro specific lens and I want to be able to take pictures of coins up a little closer. So it's just a macro tube. You can actually kind of stack these. I would recommend getting ones that are metal. Um, and also getting the ones that have the markings here so they can match up to the to the camera. Not markings, but you know, the contacts. So it's able to have autofocus, which is kind of important. So I'm going to put this on the tripod here and kind of set up the camera so we can start taking pictures of the coins. And I can show you what they look like um, with the right, correct lighting. All right, so this is actually my setup here. I have a camera that is leaning on the piece that we built yesterday. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn on the light here, and that's going to shine through the glass. So this is the piece that we built. Let me leave my camera back here for a second. Um, this piece is the frame, and it will actually just it removes out, so you can just kind of set it in there. So we put these screws to make sure that the frame would sit and rest there. And then it sits on these little pieces up here, so it leans. Um, we kind of screwed it in the bottom right here. I showed you all this when we were building it, so. Um, let me lean my camera forward. All right, so now that we have our thing all set up, our little stand with our lens and everything, I'm gonna push the coin in here, and this is what it looks like, just lit by itself. So. Let me focus that up real quick, and let me place my ring around it with the side down. So there you go. 
And that is, you know, live. Like, I can aim the light a little bit and shine it to make it brighter or a little darker if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, look at those colors. That's just crazy. Watch when I flip it over. This other side is even crazier. Put the ring around it. So what it's doing when I put the ring around it is all the highlights on top of, like, right here, up on the top of the building and everything, they all turn dark because the light isn't directly hitting it anymore. But the colors on that thing are just insane looking. And it's kind of cool just to put coins in here and keep looking at them like, what kind of coins do I There's a Morgan dollar. Nice cool look to it and put the ring around it. The color on those things, it's just, it's nuts the way that this thing works. Um, yeah, so that's basically how to do it in a nutshell. Um, the settings on your camera really depend on what kind of camera you have. But I usually try to put it at around double the shutter speed of what my lens is. So if it's a 50 millimeter lens, I'll put it at 100 shutter speed and then put it at around 4.5 aperture. And since I'm indoors, I don't need to have a light that's blasting this thing. I don't need to put any ISO on it. So, so I just want to let you know that this uh, method also does work in proofs. So if you want to take pictures of proofs, you know, it is a little hard to do since they are so reflective. But let me put this ring around it and you can see like maybe if I bump up the light on my camera just a tiny bit, you can see I'll make it, uh, it looks pretty presentable. You know, you can see the real details in Benjamin Franklin's face. Let me flip it over here real quick so you can kind of see um, what that looks like. Oh no, the holder's too big. I can't, I can't show you the reverse, but anyways, so there's the front. Yeah, and then I just take a quick picture, snap a quick shot, and uh, go on to the next coin. I just keep swapping them out through here. So it's fairly easy once you get it all set up. I've had this sitting in my room for three days. So if you have any questions on how to make this thing or would like one made for you, let me know. And I will try to help you out. Um, it probably took me about an hour on Saturday with my dad to make this. So let me know if you enjoyed it. And happy hunting, guys.